guys. So that's the amazing machine. This is a 1989 Mazda 323 stick shift front wheel drive. Super sweet, interesting, really cute car. Almost like a go-kart when we call it like this. But this is a car that needs to be revived, saved, and all that. This car hasn't run for a year. And uh, the engine, the engine is currently not cranking. So I'm going to be doing a lot of work to this car, making it amazing. Uh, there's a bunch of garbage inside, a bunch of all these stickers that I have to get rid of and remove. But other than that, really cute, sweet car. Needs some work here and there. Uh, there was this stupid ornament here that I got rid of so that's that uh, Just additional BS that is not needed. I think so I might actually get rid of this as well the bar I don't know yet, but we will see All right guys, we will be saving this amazing machine It's been sitting here for a while and it needs love so We'll be definitely saving this amazing car it's a Mazda 323. And it's a stick shift. Amazing. It's got brand new tires as well. Some crazy night. But we, we are working on this Mazda. And uh, there was this loose positive cable. I had to undo it and retie it and everything. And I took out the starter because the car wasn't starting. And then I just kind of like cleaned it up a little here and there. And I tested it and the starter is working. So I'm going to clean up the starter and uh, we'll see. I might just replace the starter or I might, uh, we'll see what I'll figure out. But the starter is kind of pain to get to. It's all the way there. And I was just testing uh, the terminals here on this guy. So, yeah, I'm getting power to both cranking signal and wire and uh, that big positive cable. I'm getting power on those. So, everything is good electrically. So, this is what the starter looks like. It's fully operational. It's been replaced before. It has a Napa stamp on it. And uh, I tested it yesterday, it works as it should. And I'm just gonna be cleaning it up before installation. But however, what I noticed is uh, this terminal right here is kinda a little bit loose. You see that, it moves. So that could be causing a problem too. It could be causing like intermittent starting problem. So what I'm gonna do is after I clean this whole thing up, I'm gonna seal this a little bit better so it doesn't wiggle around because from the vibrations and every, everything, this can just eventually break off completely. So it's gonna be a bad day. And other than that, I'm just gonna clean all this oil sludge off of it and make it nice before installing it back. All right, so I'm <clears throat> done cleaning it for the most part. It's a lot, a lot better. It's not perfect, obviously. However, what I noticed is this is actually a Mitsubishi part right there. So that's a pretty good starter, you know? It's not some Chinese garbage, but this is actually an awesome thing to have, so. I'm gonna finish cleaning this some more and then I'll take care of the terminal and then we'll in reinstall it back tonight on the car So back at the car here's the starter and I put this sealant right there And it's already cured and that terminal is not moving anymore. It's not gonna vibrate off or anything. So I'm gonna install it on So the starter is installed but i only put one bolt now i gotta put the other two putting a little bit of copper anti-seas on them and this thing is gonna be back together in a little bit all right so i also cleaned this terminal positive terminal is really nice and clean and the starter is reinstalled so i'm gonna go ahead and install the positive cable on the starter you can't see anything guys but just bear with me battery tray and all that but the starter is right over there okay so reinstalled all the connections everything I gotta reconnect the submission stuff the evap I believe that's the line 
Yep. And now I also started cleaning everything here. So check this out. Everything is coming out super nice. Wow, what a big difference. Started cleaning all of this. Nice, look at that. Slowly but surely. Classic Mazda hatchback. It's pretty crazy, huh? So the oil, I already checked the oil. It's good. It's good. Looks like they did the oil change not that long ago, I think. It's pretty fresh oil. And also checked the spark plugs. It's got the new spark plugs right there installed. That's cool. Like that. Amazing. We're gonna start it, uh, or try to start it in a little bit. This car hasn't run for a long, long time. Probably like a year or so. It's just been sitting here. All right, so I have the battery connected just like that for now. And I'm gonna try and start it for the first time. Fingers crossed. It's strange. It's still not. Nothing still. Wow, what the heck? I right, try again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, stop. Oh, we got a crank. We got a crank. It's just a back connection here. Okay. She is cranking. Where's my battery juice at? Oh, it's, she's a little low. Okay. Okay, hold on. All right, go ahead, try to crank it. And then... All right, stop. Stop, yeah. Yeah, just crank it. Ready? Yeah. Nothing? Try again. Huh? Try again. Okay. So she's got spark. Just reconnected that thing again. But this one was flashing. Too bad I didn't get it on the video, but. Okay, now. Gonna yeah, see if the fuel injectors are possible. Cause I heard the fuel pump when you start cranking it, it starts. The fuel pump starts working. So we just got it running. Oh, first time start after a long time. That is crazy. Wow. Yeah, we just had a, the battery was pretty low on it, that's why. I don't know why the idle is like this high a little bit. Yeah, I was a little high. That's okay. Just wait. She hasn't run for such a long time. She's alive. What a champ. They used to make amazing cars, gotta tell you that. Wow. soaking the seat belts in hot soapy water I have to add some more soap but that's what I'm doing starting to clean everything on this car
All right, so we're back at it. I restored these uh, wiper arms. They were super rusty, sanded them, painted them, uh, and now I reinstalled them back and actually adjusted the alignment of them because the previous alignment of the wiper uh, arms was uh, wrong. So yeah, now it's all good. This wiper blade is actually like brand new. That one's actually still in good shape. So I'm gonna keep them. Also, these uh, lamps, unfortunately, they were from a little bit newer Mazda 323 and they do not fit. I assume they would fit because they have these uh, attachment screws the same way. So that sucks. I'll have to find the right ones.